Okay, in this video we've got a triangle and a quadrilateral, and we're told that the triangle has a perimeter of 52.7, and the quadrilateral has a perimeter of 50.5 metres. So write down two equations in terms of A and B and simplify them, and use an algebraic method to find the values of A and B, show all working. If we've got two not normally what we are doing is we are going to form and solve simultaneous equations. So we've got a triangle here, so we just need to start somewhere on the triangle. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape, so we've got expressions for each one. So for the triangle, we're going to start with 4b plus 2a plus 5a minus 3b plus 12, and that's equal to 52.7 these are in meters. And for the quadrilateral, oh, sorry. Before we go on, we're going to collect the like terms. So looking at the a's, we've got 2a and 5a, which is 7a, 4b minus 3b, which is b, plus 12 is equal to 52.7. Subtracting 12 from both sides, it's going to give me 7a plus b is equal to uh, 52.7 minus 12, which is 40.7. For the quadrilateral, similar idea, we're going to start A, we're going to start here, plus 11.5, plus 4B minus A, plus 6A minus 2B, and that's going to be equal to 50.5. The A and the minus A will cancel out, so we're going to have 6A, and then we're just going to have 4B minus 2B, which is plus 2B, plus 11.5 is equal to 50.5, and then subtracting 11.5 from both sides, we've got 6a plus 3b is equal to 39. We can't actually count that down because that's an odd number, or, or we could do if we wanted to. Okay, so we need to solve those two equations simultaneously, so writing them down. So you've got several things you could do. You could divide that one through by 2, but what I did is I multiplied the top one by 2 to get the b's the same. So numbering them, multiply the top one by 2, we get 14a plus 2b is equal to 2 times 40.7, which is 81.4. And the bottom one just kept the same as 6a plus 2b is equal to 39. Subtract, because the sign in front of the b's is the same. 14a minus 6a gives me 8a and 81.4 minus 39. Just use your calculator in an IGCSE exam, gives you 42.4. And then divide both sides by 8. So just, don't be frightened because we've got decimals. Gives that a is equal to 5.3. And then you substitute into 1 again using your calculator. 7 times 5.3. Just clearly putting your working out. Plus b is equal to 40.7. 7 times 5.3 is 37.1, plus b is equal to 40.7. Subtract 37.1 from both sides, going to give you that b is equal to 3.6. Right, you then check in 2. 2 was 6a plus 2b is equal to 39, so we do 6 times 5.3, which was a, plus 2 times b, which is 3.6, and then 6 times 5.3 gives me 31.8. 2 times 3.6 gives me 7.2. Adding these two together gives me 39, and that's what I wanted, so we're okay. So the answers are A is equal to 5.3, and B is equal to 3.6. We weren't asked to find out the lengths in this case, but we could have been asked to go back and find the lengths. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to form simultaneous equation from perimeter of shapes and to find two unknowns. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.